It's been a while since I've had a five bottle haul on my channel. Today's the day, February, 2018. What are we waiting for? Let's see what I got. <laughs> What's going on YouTube fragrance family? Welcome to my February, 2018 haul. We're continuing monthly with the fragrance hauls. First and foremost, I wanna thank my partner fragrancex.com for these fragrances. Uh, if you are interested in any of these, uh, Fragrance X has a promo code with uh, Robes08 as the code. You get 15% off on anything you'd like. These fragrances, of course, available to you if they seem interesting on FragranceX.com. So let's get into the haul. So if you're a newbie <laughs> to my hauls, uh, monthly hauls, this is how it works. I show you what I got. I don't describe any of them unless I feel like it. And basically you guys comment below with one comment on your vote. You can comment as much as you want. Um, if you like any of these, you want me to um, check out different fragrances from these brands. Um, I always read my comments and see what you guys think about uh, my fragrance haul. So as you can see here, uh, a little bit of everything here. Uh, we got some niche, we got some designer, we got uh, a cheapy right in front of me, a discontinued cheapy. I uh, finished up my Dunhill Icon series. For me personally, I know there's a fourth one, but uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get that one. Uh, I got a fragrance from the different company. It's been a while. I'm a huge fan of Rose Poivre. I got a fragrance review on that. I own three of the brand. Um, really great brand. Um, the in-house perfume for the different company used to be uh, Jean-Claude Elena. So that was the reason why I stumbled upon this brand. I'm always a fan of the brand. A Montal, it's been years since I bought a brand new Montal and I've heard they've been doing great things. Them and Mancera. I don't own any Mancera fragrances, so um, that might be next on the next haul. And of course, a, a fragrance that I got from a brand that I've never purchased before. I smelt them, I smelt them in NYC when I went back there. So let's go through the fragrances and I'm gonna go through them just a uh, little uh, quickly here. So. First one I'll introduce, designer fragrance from Dunhill. Um, this is Di uh, Dunhill Icon Elite. Um, as you guys know, uh, in 2017, I got Icon, and then I got the Absolute late uh, last year, and now I finished up, it up with Elite. Love the bottles. This is a black one, heavy as the other ones are beautiful, and I can't wait to delve into Elite and see what I get from that. So if you want me to review that first, you know what to do. Next, from the different company, um, again, like I said, I haven't purchased from them in a long, long time. Jacques de Elena used to be uh, the perfumier and house perfumier for the different company, and then, his, then it was his daughter. So this one is from the uh, Collection Excessive, and this one's called Oud Chamash. And um, I've had my eye on this ever since it was released. I got a little uh, decant when it was released, loved it, um, but never purchased it. Fragrance X just got in stock like last month, and I had to jump on it. So, and they only had like five bottles or something like that. So I got one of them. Lucky enough, so I got that. Uh, next beside this is from the House of Fendi. Um, as you guys know, I got uh, Fan the Fendi put um, and uh, I thought it was a really good fragrance. I know that they axed this whole Fan the Fendi uh, lineup, um, so I wanted to get this as cheap as it's getting now. It's 20 bucks, around 20 bucks Canadian, and this is the Asoluto version. Blind buy, never smelt this fragrance, and for 20 bucks, why not? It'll make for a good review at least. So. Another Fendi fragrance in uh, my collection. Moving on next to Montal. Um, like I said, I haven't purchased a Montal. I haven't even sniffed a new Montal fragrance in probably three years, maybe even four years. It's been a long while. And all I've been hearing is good stuff from Montal. I've been hearing a lot of, of great uh, uh, feedback from their recent releases. This one called Honey Oud. I've heard amazing, amazing things. And I've smelt it. Uh, I, I just smelt it gorgeous gorgeous scent and i think this one's gonna push too so happy to have a, a new montal to the stable to add to the dozen or so that are back here and lastly um you can say this is the piece de resistance this is from carner barcelona um i smelt this brand back in nyc um at mid new york uh, when i went over there and i love the queer version everybody was talking about uh, which one was it d600 i think i might be wrong um, but, uh, they were all talking about that and I love the Kriera because it's close to uh, Black Afghano and that's why I, lo I love my darker scents. Anyway, um, I didn't get Kriera. Fragrance X does have Kriera, but this one, El Born, has been getting a lot of love in the, f uh, Facebook groups and things like that. And it got me, 
uh, interested. And um, this one, very much a, a beautiful scent. Uh, um, I can't wait to actually uh, review this one. Uh, but a really good scent and my first bottle from the brand. I always like to get my first bottle from a brand. Um, so this one, of course, the first one. And now I might pull the trigger on Kriya. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I should. Uh, but yeah, I got high hopes for every single one of these and I can't wait to delve into them. And as usual, please comment below. Let me know which one you want to vote for. You can even put in the comments. You can put your vote, but you can also say, hey, this one's interesting too. I've smelt this one. Or, you know, you should try out something else from Karner or one of the new Montals. You should try that one, Mark. Um, I love hearing your feedback on these particular fragrance brands. So thank you for watching. Can't wait to see your votes. Have a good one.